Well, hello, my YouTube family, TGIF people. I never thought I'd say that again. At the rate this week was going, I really thought I was never going to say TGIF ever again. But alas, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, all right. There's a uh, family dinner situation up in the, up in up in the air because we're supposed to have a family dinner tomorrow but nobody is confirming nobody's denying nobody's my, my other cousin he's like did you get an email i'm like i was waiting for emails and i didn't get anything okay well enough of that as if you really need to know all of that that's my business okay so lips of the day people yes you know i like this one Oh, how I like this one a lot. It is a gloss that is stick to your lips and it won't begin to fade until after four hours. I put this on at 9 a.m. people and it started to fail to, to fail. It started to fade at around one ish just in time for lunch. So you know when I eat my lunch, I take off my lip, my lip gloss anyway. Took off my lip gloss and then I reapplied after I was done. This is it after I reapplied. I didn't retouch. This is it. This is it. Okay. I don't have time to retouch when I get back to work. Okay. It's, it's hit the ground running when I come in at nine. Hit the ground running when I come back from lunch. Okay. So... Nancy doesn't have time to look cute unless she takes a, a detour into the ladies' room. But sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So, from 1, and it's, what, 5.53 now? Hello? What is it? Yes, okay, let's start off with the liner, as I always do. And I am wearing this with a MAC Night Moth. Line. I love this liner so damn much. You have no idea. This liner is the ish. This liner is the ish. And filled is one of my Ulta purchases. And this was the NARS Killer Shine Lip Gloss. Stephen Klein. I don't know who that is. But he was, I guess he was working in coordination with NARS. This is the Stephen Klein collection or Stephen Klein line. I don't know. This is in the color Provoke. And this is Provoke, people. What? What? And this is the one that has my brush. This is a brush application, people. What? Oh, good Lord. It is so thick. It is so thick. Brush application. Hello? I know a lot of people don't like brush applications. Me lovey brush applications. Love them. Okay. This lip gloss is going to last a good long time. And you know how long I keep my stuff, right? Very long. Too long. But yeah, this is going to last me until death. Seriously. Um, This is it. This is the NARS Stephen Klein. That is a happening shade, and it is in Provoke. Love it ever so. This is one happening shade. Saw it, had to have it. So that is it. That is all. Um, oh, I wanted to talk to you about the concealer that I'm wearing. I happen to like it, but it's too dark. It's, it's not a bright... It, it is a brightening um, concealer, but it's called Retouch Plus Erase. Retouch and Erase. Light Lifting Concealer by Milani. It's the cutest little thing. I got this. I think it, um, this might have been either an all cosmetics wholesale or an Ulta. I'm not sure. But this is in the shade Deep Honey. I think it's an all cosmetics wholesale. Deep Honey. It's a little too dark for me, but it's got its own little sponge application. That is the cutest little thing. And it just does the job. It just does the job. And 
it's just so easy to use and just enough concealer. Who needs concealer more than this? This is just enough concealer to get you through months. Seriously. It holds what? 0 0.24 fluid ounces. This is enough. This is this is enough. And it is in deep honey. This one I'm afraid is too deep for me, but it still did the job. It still it still eliminated a lot of my dark circles, which I like very much. Because after I, you know, blends, blends, blends it in, I use my my banana powder and then I put it on top. So, you know, it, it gives the, the banana powder really does the job of highlighting. But this kind of does erase my circle, my, my dark circles. So I'm very happy about this. This is Milani Retouch and Erase. Very cute. It's got its own little applicator. Love it ever so. What more do you want? So there you have it. What else do I have to talk to you about? I wrote it down. Honey, people, tonight, you know I'm not going anywhere, right? Tonight on QVC, Becca, 9 p.m., people, I'm all over it. Because you know Becca, they're going to be talking about highlighters and such and everything like that. I'm sure they're going to be talking about the Christy Teigen. I am so not interested. I'm really so not interested in that one. Like, it's got nice shades and everything. It's all right. But it kind of resembles the Jaclyn Hill one, I guess. I mean, there's all sorts of YouTube videos in regards to, this looks just like the Jaclyn Hill. And, you know, uh, Christy Teigen bit off of Jaclyn Hill. You know what? I really don't give a rat's ass. I really don't. Because I wasn't too crazy about the Jaclyn Hill. And I'm really not too crazy about the Christy Christy Teigen. So everybody is just, they just, I, I swear sometimes YouTube looks for drama. Some YouTubers just look for the drama or create the drama when there really isn't anything there. Okay. So Jacqueline Hill looks like Christy Teigen or Christy Teigen look like Jacqueline Hill. Didn't Jacqueline Hill look like something? Like didn't Jacqueline Hill look like the um, Anastasia glow something, afterglow, all glow, whatever. Similar, they're all similar shades. That's the problem. There's no difference whatsoever. The difference of the, the, the highlighter may be difference in, you know, amount. But yeah, and well, so, I mean, either you want the Jaclyn Hill or you want the Christy Teigen. Or you want both. Shut up and buy both. Or shut up and buy one or the other. I mean, sometimes... You know, it, you, this, this is the problem with me. The problem with me is I'm watching YouTubers that are 20 years younger than I am. So I have to remember what I was like. Drama was oh so fantastic. Not even 20, 30 years younger than me. Because these are girls in their 20s and maybe in their early 30s, 20s, early 30s, making a big issue about... Highlighter palettes. Okay, we've got starvation in the world. We've got an asshole for a president. And you guys want to argue and discuss and debate about whose highlighter palette is better than whom and who bit off of whom. That's that's really that's really the big the big issue of the day. I got to remember when I was in my 20s. I got to remember when I was in my 20s and when I was in my teens, teens and 20s. You know, issues that look so trivial when you are much older are ginormous when you're younger. So I have to really kind of put a block on the videos that I watch sometimes. Not block the videos, but I have to kind of reel myself in because I swear I'm sometimes watching these videos I got my arms folded and I'm just shaking my head like for real like for real Anastasia Becca Jacqueline Hill Christy Teigen yeah and well so y'all the one that's spending y'all money if you already see it and it already resembles the one that you have why are you going to buy it 
and then argue about the fact that they look exactly the same. You saw it before you bought it, right? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to make sense of it all. I really am. Anyway, Becca on QVC tonight, 9 p.m. I wonder if there's going to be an issue. I don't know. All I know is I believe, I believe I'm highlighted enough. But you've heard me say that before, haven't you? Yes. So I'm just going to sit back because I never order. I've never ordered anything from QVC. I like to watch QVC and get ideas. Sometimes I even have pet, 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 pet pad and pencil next to me so I can take notes on what I do want and then I'll order it through Amazon or whatever because sometimes you know QVC whoo up they prices honey I'm sorry but special value and all of this mm, when you add the tax afterwards and you look at that total it's like what say what now what and then you can compare it to like someplace else like for real but I will be watching. I will be watching Becca, honey. I haven't seen QVC in a while. I used to be a regular on QVC. Not a regular buying. Like I said, I've never bought anything. But I used to watch it religiously. Every time Bare Minerals was on, Philosophy was on, uh, any kind of cosmetic fragrance or whatever, cosmetic related, I would be watching it nonstop. And then all of a sudden, I just stopped. Because... When I moved, I ha I have a different um, cable system than where I was. So the channel that I used to watch is no longer the channel that I watch. So now I'm all, you know, I'm all messed up because I don't know when it's on. I don't know what is on. So, yeah, but I caught it. To, there was a there was a post on Facebook. The Becca, the Becca Cosmetics posted on Facebook stating that they were going to be on QVC tonight at 9 p.m. Oh, hell to the yeah. I was watching that. And they showed one of their highlighter palettes. I don't know which one. I don't think it was the Chrissy Teigen, but maybe it was. I'm not sure. Either way, um, my ass is going to be on, on, on front of the uh, television tonight. I'm praying to Jesus I don't fall asleep because, you know, now that the wait of the week is over, that's when I just like max and relax. Even though I have plans tomorrow, but it's it's fun plans. It's, it's family dinner, so and it's dinner, so it'll be later on in the day. So I can just hoosa, just max, relax until it's time to get dressed tomorrow and go see my family. What? What? So, you know, when I get too relaxed on the sofa, you know, I start falling asleep. And that's not a pretty sight. I miss everything on television. It's just, it's not pretty. And then last night, I watched the ending, the last DVD of my um, Shield. The Shield? I mean, I have the entire series. I've been watching it for two weeks straight. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen it a dozen times. I know how it's going to end. I know what's going to happen. But every time there are certain points in the show, I know it's coming. And I still get, like, either, not scared, but, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, I get that way. Even though you've seen it a dozen times, you know the oh, my God scene is coming, Nancy. So why are you getting ready to say oh, my God? Because it's just fun to do so. That's why. It is what it is, people. I have been like this ever since I was a child. I'm an only child, okay? So I have to entertain myself, all right? And I have done so because my mother did say when I was very, very young, she never wanted to hear me say I am bored. So I don't find anything to be bored about. I will always keep myself entertained by doing something, whether it be watching television, reading a book, which I haven't done in a stone's age. The internet has taken over my reading. I have got books on shelves that have gathered dust. Pages are turning yellow. I haven't opened, I haven't cracked up the, co the cover, the paperback cover. They're just sitting there. And I don't know why. No, I do know why. Because the internet has taken over my life. So the time that I'm on the internet, I could be reading a chapter. But I feel like I'm missing something on YouTube. Or I feel like I'm missing something on Facebook. 
So, yeah, it's sad. I should I should just take a book and bring it in the Jeep with me. Because sometimes I'll eat my lunch in my Jeep. Sometimes I'll get off the Jeep and eat where I'm, I'm going to eat. But sometimes I'll take, I'll buy the food, go through a drive-thru, go back and find a good parking spot and put my, um, my visor on the, on the window, window, you know, the, the, the window, not the window sill, but the, you know, the window. So nobody can see me eating and nobody can bother me. I'm listening to the radio. I'm dancing to some tunes, moving around, eating my lunch. But sometimes I, I'm, I'm done with eating and I'm like, okay, I don't have anything to do right now. So I'll do something on my phone, which I really need to get a new one. I'll maybe post some Facebook stuff or just read some stuff until it's time to go inside. That's the time I really should open up a book. Hmm. Food for thought. Okay, well, that's about it, people. I have nothing else to say. It is a great and glorious day outside. Hot as hell. My Jeep said 87 degrees. You know I put the AC on, right? Once it starts, starts with the high 70s into the mid 80s, that's when I start pers perspiring like you know, a horse that ran a race and I really don't, mm -mm, I really don't do well with the sweat. I don't do well with the sweat. Plus, you know, I got to try to keep the makeup afloat. So yeah, I am not fond of sweating in the least. So that's where the AC comes in. But as of right now, I've got my fan on. And Mr. Man is acting all dramatic. He's been acting dramatic ever since I got home. I don't know what his deal is. I hope he's okay. He better be. But he gave me some love earlier. He's just tired. He's just, I don't know what the hell he was doing. Sometimes he'll go cat crazy in the middle of the afternoon. So maybe that's the case. I don't know. He knows I'm talking about him too. So we shall see. Hopefully he'll give me a little love when I'm watching my QVC. Okay. QVC people. Tonight at 9 p.m., Becca Cosmetics. Yes, indeed, do. I'll be there. Will you? Okay. Well, that's just that with that upon that. I love you. I love my YouTube family. I love these lips. Oh, my goodness. NARS, Stephen Klein line, I guess. And this is in the color Provoke. Love it. Okay, so that is that. With that upon that, am I wearing anything else new other than just the concealer and the lip gloss? And everything else, of course, will be posted below like I usually do. Okay, I love you. Have an excellent and awesome weekend. And I will talk to you on Monday. I had to think for a minute there. Ain't that sad? I'll talk to you on Monday, okay? I love you. Mwah! Bye now.